वेलकम बैक यू आर वॉचिंग पार्ट फिफ्थ ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग वार्निंग हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू रेप्लीकेट द इम्पैक्ट ऑन सर्वर हेल्थ ड्यू टू डीलेड रेस्पॉन्सेज फ्रॉम द टारगेट सिस्टम एज यू नो वी आर कवरिंग द एंटायर सीरीज फॉर सर्वर वार्निंग हेल्थ इश्यू एंड एज पार्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी डिस्कस ए डी आर फ्रेमवर्क अलॉन्ग विथ लॉग एनालिसिस एंड स्टक थ्रेड इशूज सो आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच दो वीडियोज एज वेल If you are new to my channel don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and soa development Without any further delay let's discuss this more so let's say we have two systems and this is our osb system and this is our target system and uh, we are calling this target system from our osb layer so what happens sometimes we get delayed responses from the target system and it impacts our server health so to replicate this scenario we will create two osb service so our first service will be source proxy and our second service will be the target proxy and this target proxy will act as a target system here so we'll try to see what happens when this target proxy delays the response to generate delay we are going to use java callout here and we will use thread.slip the one we used earlier as well and we will also see how we can use timeout so that we can cut the call and save our server's health so as part of this video from the source proxy we are going to use a service callout and from that service callout we are going to call this target proxy and we will try to replicate our delayed response scenario here let us see things in the action so we have created two projects one is source project and another one is target project so as the name suggests from the source project we are going to call target project and uh, here we have our source pipeline so you can see we have a service call out and uh, from this service call out we are going to call this target business service and in the target project uh, we again have a pipeline and here simply we are replying uh, with the concatenated string and uh, you can see that here so whatever input is passed in the source service we will concatenate it with the hello and reply with the concatenated string so this is our simple two projects if you want to learn how to create a proxy service or how to create a osb project you can refer my hello world osb video uh, i have put that link in the i button let us try to log in into sb console and test our service you can see we have two projects here one is source project and another one is target project i have already deployed these projects here so we'll go to the pipeline of our source project or you can also test it from the proxy service go to launch test console and in the input i will give my name and you can see uh, we are getting this response uh, from the target service and that is uh, hello mazahir and uh, if you go to the stage 1 here you can see we are calling a business service from here and uh, from the business service this is the response we are getting now we are going to add a java callout to create some sort of delay and we will redeploy our target uh, project so that we can test our delayed response scenario so this is our target pipeline and in the request pipeline we are going to add a java callout and we will select a jar file which we have created as part of earlier videos if you have not watched it uh, i will put that link in the description and i have also added that link in the i button 
so this is our thread sleep dot jar we'll select this next finish and we will select uh, this method here in the expression we are going to give a uh, time in the millisecond for which the thread is going to sleep so i am giving 50000 which means for the 50 second this thread is going to sleep let us deploy this project again i would like to recall you that uh, we change our max stuck thread time as part of our previous video from 300 seconds to 10 seconds so that we can replicate issues quickly so if the service is taking more than 10 seconds our server should go into warning state let us see once again in the osb server you can go to tuning and here we have stuck thread max time set to 10 seconds so our service has been deployed let's try to test it again and uh, in the same time we will monitor our server health so i am testing this service again and you can see it is taking a bit longer than the previous attempt and after 10 seconds our server should go into warning state and uh, here we go you can see our server is already running in the warning state now and uh, after 50 seconds uh, we should get a response as per our code and our server should come back to normal health and you can see we have received uh, the response after 50 seconds and let us also check the server health uh, which is back to ok so to prevent this scenario we can add timeouts so it is recommended by oracle that we should always configure the timeout settings in the business service uh, in the business service we get two options one is read timeout and another one is our connection timeout so you can see here we have read timeout set to zero connection timeout set to zero means there is no timeout and uh, it can wait for the response uh, uh, for uh, an infinite uh, period of time before changing this let us try to understand what is connection timeout and what is read timeout so if we are configuring connection timeout it means uh, uh, it is a time between two system to connect with each other let's suppose we have a web service which is http based web service and uh, we are invoking from the source proxy so the amount of time it will take to handshake on tcp layer is going to be considered as a connection timeout also the ssl handshake comes under connection timeout now how much time you should put for the connection timeout so it depends uh, on the latency between two systems let's say both systems are under a same network then uh, you can put uh, five seconds or two seconds it uh, completely depends on the latency between two systems now if we discuss about read timeout so read time is a time uh, which is going to be taken by uh, the target system uh, if we have a read timeout of 5 seconds and the uh, target system is taking more than 5 seconds to respond it is going to timeout so you will have to decide based on the target system capacity and the agreement between uh, the source and the target system or you can also conduct a load test to determine how much time a uh, target system takes on an average and based on that uh, data you can configure your read timeout so in our case both our services are deployed on the local host we are not going to configure connection timeout we are just going to configure read timeout for our scenario now to change this timeout configuration we'll have to create lock and in the business service you can go to transport details and here we are going to configure read timeout 
so if you remember we have put 50 seconds for the thread dot sleep in the target service and after 10 seconds our server is going into warning state so in the read timeout i am going to put 8 seconds so that it will cut the call after 8 seconds and it will prevent our server going to warning state so let's save this and activate the changes now we'll go to our source pipeline again and test this service execute and you will see after 8 seconds uh, this should cut the call and uh, here we have uh, error response and uh, our call is cut since we have not handled our fault uh, it is showing as an unhandled error but if you go to server logs you will see a socket timeout exception there so let us see that as well so we are going to tail our outlog and here you can see we have our socket timeout exception and that's it for this part of the video uh, also remember if you are trying to invoke sql query then you should always put query timeout in the jca file and uh, if you want me to cover the development side of this video please put that in the comments so that uh, next video i will go in more details on how we can create a source and target services in the j developer if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and if you want me to cover videos on any other topic you can also mention that in the comment thank you